Are you wondering how to move a smart sheet to a workspace? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do so. And you'll be pleased to hear it's incredibly simple. But I'll also be explaining why you might not be able to do it and how to get around this issue as well. So I've just opened up Smartsheet here and I've got a blank sheet. I've just created it. It's in my sheet section. Nothing in there, but this is the sheet I want to move. Now, this is the workspace that I've just created, brand new, and I want to move this sheet to this workspace. Well, all you need to do is left click and drag it to hover over the workspace. And once I let go, workspace members will be shared to the items. Do you wish to continue? Press OK. It's gone from the sheet section. If you wanted it to stay there, I'd recommend creating a copy first. And then send and then kind of dropping it in but when I go to this new workspace you'll see that this sheet has now landed in the workspace now here is the one issue and this is why you might not be able to do it the only way you can do this is if you own the permissions or you have the right access level on the required workspace. So I own this workspace which, and I own this sheet, which is why I can move this sheet to this workspace. But let's say I'm an editor, let's imagine I'm a, a, a viewer or an, or an editor of a sheet without the sharing permissions. I wouldn't be able to do that or if I didn't own the workspace altogether. So do bear that in mind. You may need to get in contact with the workspace owner and ask or request for them to move it for you. Or alternatively, you can ask for the workspace owner to share, um, you know, higher permissions on the workspace to you, which should enable you um, to do so. Now, one quick thing before we finish up, let's say, so I've just moved that back. So to move it back, by the way, you, you simply pick it up, left click and you drop it. And I've dropped it back in my sheets where um, this is just shared to me. No one else can see this. Um, so do consider that as well. Whenever you move a sheet to a workspace, anyone who is who has the has visibility on the workspace will be able to see that sheet you drop it in. So do consider that, particularly if your um, resource is private. Um, but as I mentioned earlier, you may if you want to keep a sheet, you know, in a in two places, it's always good to create a copy. So in order to do that, right click and um, save as new and we'll call it just copy for simplicity sake. And then you would move that copy or the original into that workspace. And this is what I'm talking about with who can access or view the view the resource once it's been added to that workspace. Press OK. And that will give you, you know, your your sheet in its original location and its new location. But also consider that by doing this, you've got two different um, two different sheets and if you were to update one it wouldn't reflect in the other they're two different copies they're treated differently but it does give you that ability to have sheets in different places and perhaps even it enables you to protect a sheet without anyone making changes so it's almost it, view it as a backup if you like so that's how to move a sheet to a workspace in smart smart sheet i hope this video was useful if it was, please do hit the like button and do consider subscribing to my channel. I've got over 30 videos on Smartsheet training, so there's plenty to get going with and that can teach you about the tool. Um, and if you are in or looking out for a, a Smartsheet training, then I've got a course as well that I've just released. So if you want to get on that, then there's a link in the description as well to head over there and, and sign up. So with all that said, I hope you have an excellent day.